mess their lives up. It's called Stupid Go There. So here we go, a little Stupid Go There. Thank you. 
I was talking about when well, you don't want to bump. bump no more with that bump. big fat woman. And here's the big oh, like that kind of bumping. Right. She already knocked it down once. Wow. Did you used to do the bump? No, no, yeah. I'm just kidding. Not you that did it? The bump was fun. What kind of bumps did you do? What did you do? Did you go to studio? I saw Party Monster last night. So, you know, that's kind of on my brain right now. And they were crazy. Mostly, mostly I hung out in Danceteria. I remember Danceteria. I used to hang out there. I went to work uh, in the music business. I worked in the business my most of my life. I worked for Warner Brothers out in Cali. And then I worked for Island. I worked in the Bahamas there. I ran their recording studio. Oh, and I worked for Atlantic here in New York. Good so, for you. So I've, you know, and mostly I produced a lot of records. I worked with uh, Van Morrison. And you worked with Billy Thickey yesterday. I worked with Billy yesterday. Billy's my drummer. I love Billy's Billy. Billy's great. He's, he's like, I'm a crazy great drummer. Yes. And, I'm but basically, television. I, I did all from TV. Yeah, from t but basically, I did a lot of production in my career. But in the last. Eight years, I went to the other side, and now the other side. Now the other side. It's like the side. difference between directing a porn movie and actually <laughs> banging. Okay, you know what I mean. You know, speaking of <laughs> porn movies, I just heard today that a teacher just got fired. Did you hear about that? What happened? Wow. This porn teacher. I, I I really think this is. I don't know. Everyone has an opinion, but a high school teacher was just found out that she had done some porn. Many years ago, and yeah. um, now they're firing her, and oh, she, they're saying that she can't teach high school anymore. Well, if that were true for the music business, I don't think it's right. Be, nothing, there would never be a record made. Right, exactly. There you go. But more, you more, saying, more. Yeah. How do you like it, right? So wait, if you found out your kid's teacher was had done porn. I, well, I, I, would you I, think? I, would you want them to fire the teacher? I made a conference. I made a conference. Uh, you know, yeah, like, yeah, I love the girl alone. Everyone's, alone. Everyone's got to pass. Thank you. Know, you. Everyone, everyone wants a big Newton, right? Yeah, you got a skeleton in your closet? I do. I do have a skeleton. Well, you know, I was real political when I was young. The war in Vietnam was going on. I did my first march when I was 14. When I was 15, we went up on the roof of the draft board in a town that will name, remain nameless and trashed it. We dropped all sorts of rocks through the skylight. We pushed the air conditioner unit. We smashed it. And uh, we did everything we could to uh, incapacitate that draft board. But and then you still tried to be 4F. That's right. After that, we don't yet have that. Well, happened. what can I tell you? I got a high number in my lottery. I didn't have to go. Good for you. But, uh, you know, luckily, all the housewives started marching a few years after that, and the war ended. So yeah, and those were not the housewives on reality television. No, no, these they, were yeah. these were big fat and the Jewish housewives. Oh, <laughs> is that because Jewish women don't want their boys to go to the army? I'd say so. You, you think know. only Jews? I, you know, but I love Katz's Deli always had that slogan, send a salami to your son in the army. But they were Jewish boys. There you go. Maybe it's the Israeli army. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it used to be good wars, but not in my lifetime. Now it's but digital it's wars. It's like, how good are you on a Game Boy? That makes you a better soldier, right? Yeah, well. <laughs> exactly. I mean, isn't it all about that? I'm in New York. If, all day. if someone ain't coming what? right for me, I don't want to mess with them. If they're coming at me, that's one thing. If they're not coming at me, 
Leave them the alone. Leave Thank them the alone. You. Thank you. Know? Thank you. I agree. I agree. I think that you know anyone that I know thinks like that, but we're not everyone. Now what can you do? What exactly. You, do? you gotta. What is it? Let the fun never stop. The fun never stop. Exactly. exactly. That's what we gotta do. <laughs> exactly. So do you have a website that people can find all your fun songs? You know, I'm still actually doing my first recording with a drummer. Okay, you're catching me at the very beginning of. A star is born, whatever. But I know when I finish what I do, I'm going to put, I got uh, four tunes I just cut yesterday. When I finish the vocals and get them mixed, I'm going to put them up on Reverb Nation. So you can look for me there, Paul. No, oh, I can't. Reverb Nation is not liking me right now. He's not one to shoot his own blacklist. This man. This yes, man. I am, really. If it's as good as what you produced for the Go-Go's, which got them their record deal, and, you know, you've, you've, you're pretty humble. I am Somebody, humble. I am you are humble. humble. So which go-go did you sleep with? I didn't sleep with. I have, an, I have a policy. All the female artists I ever work with, no sleep with. You're smart. Life is too complicated. Yeah, and, enough, right? It's complicated enough. And plus, you sleep with a girl singer, and suddenly she expects oh, so you to run her career. Or, or any girl artist. It's they the expect singer. you to get them a deal. They expect you to make them stars. You know what? Yeah, and it doesn't it's, always work like that. I don't know. I thought my husband expected me to do that for him. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? Well... It worked pretty well for him. <laughs> That's what I mean. Oh, wow. That was good. All right. A lot of thanks I get now. But, uh, so um, do you have highlights? Like, which do you, do you prefer doing this creative side rather than the other side? Or did you I love, love it? I love, love listen, working with artists. I mean, like living the, in the Bahamas, work, that wasn't so uh, yeah. shabby. Right? I saw the beach twice, but I got to work with yeah. Sly and Robbie. And I actually, oh, oh. I actually put James Brown in the studio with him, okay? So I did some serious things. And you know what? I, I worked with the B-52s. I worked with Van Morrison. I did some real serious projects. But you know what? Again, it, this is just so much cooler. I mean, just putting something across, doing a song, putting a song across is infinitely more fun than making a record for somebody else. It's and just more fun. And you get a fake And you get a fake That's right. And I get a fake So, so uh, what inspired you to actually turn the leaf? And like, did, is this something you always wanted to do? You know, I just started thinking one day, you've been running songs in your head your whole freaking life. Yeah. Don't you want to be able to just sit down and deliver one at some point? Yeah. You know? And I was like, yeah. And I'm very lucky. I saw a DVD of a Hail Hail Rock and Roll. And in that... Chuck Berry goes into the studio with his piano player, and they do this standard from the 40s called A Cottage for Sale. And that inspired the hell out of me. That told me that the guys who invented rock and roll back in the 50s knew all the standards. And I said, you know what? i got to be able to play those You things. know, I'm happy you said that. My grandmother used to be in vaudeville. Okay. And she used to always tell me. She used to sing with Jimmy Durante. Oh, and man, she, he's the greatest. She used to always say to me, I know you write songs and stuff, but, you know, you have to cover other music because you'll never be a good musician until you can cover other songs. There you go. And that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. I love covering songs. I mean, it's a few more chords. you just got to learn a few more. It that's makes you it better. Is. Exactly. It, it makes does. you a better musician. It exactly does. Right. Because yeah. everybody wrote such good songs. And you know you can't. I like those three chord hits. You, I love. Listen, I, listen. Those are the ones. Hank like Williams wrote one chord songs that were freaking brilliant. Okay, like it ain't the chords; it's the melody and the exactly. singer. Exactly. You know? And you know, you know what Frank Sinatra had? He had. Um, uh, what do they call it? His. Uh, what's that word? The way he sang it. Um, Phrasing. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, thank you, you darling. But, it's but, the phrasing. Exactly. But, thank but, you. It, but at the end of the day. You know, it, it's the song, it's the singer, it's the performance. All these things come together, and when everything's right, if you're doing a song like Jambalaya, or you you're you're doing a song like Stardust, and you can't blow it. The song's too good. It just carries you along. You know, and good material makes the performer. No doubt about that. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Well, I appreciate you visiting us. And um, come back anytime. Well, thank you so much. Thank for having you me. so much. Thank and I'm you. so glad you're playing with Billy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, we'll had a great Billy time. Next time. I, you know what? I was looking at the drum kit. I said, shit, I should have brought Billy. I had <laughs> Billy. I, Billy came. Billy shares my brother's birthday. Oh, okay. And my brother is the producer of this show. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're playing, I believe, again. We always do something around Billy's birthday. So, oh, sweet, sweet. Yeah, okay. so Listen, he came me, last year on his birthday. Let me know, because, you know, come back we're disappearing visit. for a little while, but we'll be back in town, and just let me know what's up. I'll come by and count. Anybody 
who I hang with, who I do something with, I go see their show. Uh, oh, I support good. the people that I, you know. We're playing Valentine's Day, I think. All right, sweet. Would sweet. you come for the love I think, day? I, mean, I think, Ooh. what's that, the February? 14th. You know, we're going to, I'm visiting my mother in law out of town. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> There's plenty more. But we'll so, catch you. Any last shout outs? Um, I just want to give a shout out to my dad. Jerry Wexler, the greatest producer in the wow. history of R and B, okay? And I that's love that, okay? Wow. Alicia Franklin, Ooh. Wilson Pickett, he produced Solomon Burke, Sam and Dave he worked with, he produced Ray Charles, one of the greatest producers in the history of popular music, and my dad is the guiding light for everything I do. Good for you. <laughs> wow, well, that's some heavy duty light. It is, it is. That's had a pretty good one so far. Good for you. Good for you. Well, thanks again. I just saw the Char Ray Charles movie. Fun. I saw Ray. Oh, the guy who God. The, so the good. The guy who says you're stealing the food out of the mouths of my children. That's the guy who's supposed to be my dad. Just for the record, Ahmed Erdogan and my dad, they hated the way they were portrayed in that movie. Okay. But you know what? The movie's still great. Jimmy Fox did such a great job doing Ray. you got to love the movie. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I loved it. <laughs> I like the movie. Me so. too. All right. All right well, we'll be back. we got more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go there, stupid. Go there. Go and walk into the wall. 